Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the brand new release by the company Narciso Rodriguez. And this one is called Narciso Rodriguez for her Musk Noir. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this scent, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my perfume review of Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir for her, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner, it would mean so much to me. And also while you're at it, make sure to leave a like down below for the YouTube algorithm, it would mean a lot. So I've actually done a review of the original Narciso Rodriguez for her. I don't recall if I reviewed the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum, but in any case, I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. I've also done a review of Fleur Musk, if I'm not mistaken. So this brand has a few different musk offerings, which I believe is also found in the original. And of course, this one has a very smooth and clean, kind of a rosy musk with these suede leather accents. So the perfumer for this fragrance is Sonia Constant, very impressive resume online. You can definitely check her out. And here we have what I think is one of the best releases for women in the year 2021 on the designer side. So I'm very excited to give you my in detail thoughts on this fragrance. Let's start things off with the presentation. So the two things that you're gonna get in the opening of this fragrance are the sweet notes and the musk. The musk is definitely residing in the base of the fragrance, but it does come through from the very beginning, and I quite like that. It sort of adds like this sensual component to the fragrance, and I think it's a combination of different things that are contributing to that sensual vibe. So the rose, the musk, and perhaps a little bit of that unconventional sweetness. Now, I say unconventional because they're not relying on some ubiquitously used notes to create the sweetness. Instead, they're using the note of plum, and I actually love the note of plum, but I think it works really nicely in tandem with this note of heliotrope. Now, heliotrope is a floral note, but it can kind of give off like these almondy accents. And I gotta be honest with you, the fragrance is really at its peak and at its sweetest right in the opening. And I would say that that sweet opening lasts for about 15 to 20 minutes and then the sweetness subsides by like 50%. So it's not going to be as sweet, but you do have like this rosy sort of a pink pepper thing that starts to come through, which I really enjoy. And I think it works in harmony with the musk in the base. So of course there is no real or natural musk being used in this fragrance. Um, the ad copy of the fragrance even talks about how they sought a very precious musk oil to be used in this fragrance and the perfumer Sonia Constant talked about how working with musk is like a perfumer's dream. And I'm sure it's a very versatile ingredient. There are some varieties of musk, especially when you're talking about the real kind that can come across smelling a little animalic and a little rough around the edges, but this one is very pure, very serene and very clean and I enjoy that. So it's a synthetic musk that is used in here, but that doesn't take away from the priciness of the musk. Even some of the more, uh, you know, pricey musks on the market happen to be synthetic as a matter of fact. So it gives off this very clean vibe and I'm enjoying that. It's clean, it's tranquil, but it's very sexy and it's very feminine, sensual, a little flirtatious at the same time. And, you know, I close my eyes and I try to picture the occasion when a woman would wear this one. And I can definitely see this one being worn out on a date, a romantic scenario, or maybe if you're going to um, a crowded event where you're gonna be around a lot of other people and you really wanna convey the ultimate sexiness 
I think this is the type of fragrance for that. And I'm trying to line it up with other women's designer releases that came out in 2021. And some of them I really enjoy for the floral components. A Drop Desse is a very interesting lilac scent. And then we also have that sort of fruitiness in Marc Jacobs Perfect, a little lactonic, a little coconutty. But this one sort of has this sophisticated combination of notes. I think that's the best way for me to describe it. It's not overly casual, it's not too youthful, it's not too playful or juvenile at all. This one is very sexy, confident, sophisticated, a little mysterious, and I was going to say that mystery and intrigue kind of comes from the leathery nuance, but I don't get a whole lot of leather from this one. But I do find it to be very sensual, it's an erotic sort of a fragrance, and I personally consider this to be one of my favorite designer releases for women in the year 2021. I'm really enjoying the smell of this one. Now it's just a matter of getting my wife to wear it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I do find this fragrance to be unique. I know there are some other fragrances that use heliotrope in them, and I feel like it has a very characteristic aroma with the sweetness and those almond accents, but nevertheless, I couldn't quite compare this one 100% to any other fragrance that I've tried, whether on the men's side or the women's side, especially given the fact that I've tried a lot of other plum-based scents as well, and they all utilize plum in a very different way from this one. The overall smell is very appealing. It is a little bit on the heavier side, and I feel like the performance has a lot to do with that as well. So if you're looking for something a little brighter, a little more floral, maybe something along the lines of like a Gucci Bloom or something like that. Even the more recent one in the yellow bottle, I think it's called Profumo di Fiori. That one is also kind of fresh and clean and a little um, exotic smelling on account of the florals, but this is definitely a bit of a darker, more sensual composition. Longevity on this one, eight hours, fantastic longevity. The projection radiated within an arm's length for the first three hours of application, so you will get no Noticed wearing this one. Just keep in mind that it is a very non-linear scent. So the way that it opens up is going to be quite different from the way that it dries down. And so while it does open up with that fruity sort of a sweet floral thing that's happening in there, it will dry down to like this rosy sensual musk. So it does evolve quite a bit on the skin. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is more formal than casual. I can see a woman of any age wearing this one, but perhaps not a high schooler or like an early college student, maybe somebody who's a little bit more mature. I can see this one leaning feminine for sure, just because of that floral musk combination. But if you're a confident guy and you wanna wear this one, by all means, please do wear what makes you happy wear what you love and I think that this one is appropriate for all times of the year. I can see this one being worn in all four seasons and in terms of the presentation I like the pink juice kind of conveys this femininity about it and I like the simplicity of the presentation. My final verdict on this one is if you are a fan of the original Narciso Rodriguez for her and you're interested in picking up a flanker that really applies emphasis on this note of musk with also like these sweet plum almond accents from the heliotrope with maybe like this very, very mild and nuanced suede leather in the base. Definitely check this one out. I really hope it's to your liking. I think it's an amazing release by the company Narciso Rodriguez. So happy that I purchased this one from Macy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was my fragrance review slash perfume review of Narciso Rodriguez for her Musk Noir. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Please click on that red subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot to me. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.